Hey, Eagles. So we've been working on making 3D flowers this week. So I wanna go ahead and show you how to make a vase for your flowers. You're just gonna need a plain piece of paper. Uh, I use just plain copy paper. You're welcome to use one with color if you want a vase that's colored. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut a strip off and set it aside for my vase. So I'm gonna need an actual just strip of paper. And then on the rest of it, I'm going to cut fringe again. I like to turn my paper so that it's going uh, horizontally to do that. And I make those strips I'm cutting about an inch apart. And I leave it so that it's about halfway down the paper. I don't want to go all the way to the bottom because I want to have some room for my vase as well here. So halfway. I think mine went a little more than halfway. That's fine. I'm cutting it. And then I am going to be rolling this as well. Just like we did with our hyacinth flowers. So just some loose rolls here. You can make them a little tighter if you want. Totally up to you. Okay, now that I've got it all rolled out, I'm going to glue these together like so. So I recommend using a glue stick, but if you don't have one, glue bottles work just fine. That's what I'm gonna be using today. I do think glue bottles work better. Liquid glue works a little better at making things stick. However, when you're working with 3D items, sometimes it is a little difficult to get it to stay together correctly. So I always put the glue there. And you're gonna wanna hold it for about 10 seconds to really make sure that sticks well. I don't want it falling apart on us before we even get our flowers in there. Okay, so you should have a shape like this, look the kind of a funny chef's hat. And we're going to take the strip that we made and we're going to end up gluing it around our vase. And you can do it as loose or as tight as you want. The idea is that you have a hole for the top, but that it still makes that nice vase shape. So I've got mine in about this range. I'm going to put a dot of glue on there. Hold it down. Once again, you want to hold it for a little while to really get that to stick well. And you guys can choose. I use just white paper for this. It's possible to um, color it, markers, paint, whatever you want. So if you want to make a vase that's pretty and interesting to look at, you can do that. If you like the white, that's fine. Or if you happen to have construction paper at home, that's perfect as well. Okay, so once that's dried, you can stick the flowers that we created, just one or several, into it to make a nice vase and paper flowers. Makes a great gift for Mother's Day um, or just for fun to have setting around your house. So, there we go.